since 2017 this was announced it's been a nightmare and Perry Bar has been a battle and a half and I'm shocked I've still got hair left. This development has become a real white elephant in Perry Bar. Nearly a year after they were finished, the 10 apartment blocks on the site of the old Birmingham City University campus remain fenced off and manned by security. The flats represent the first phase of the residential scheme, which has even won awards, despite the fact no one has ever lived there. For locals, it's a big physical reminder of the desperate need for affordable homes in the city, and it's also part of the Commonwealth Games legacy, which they haven't yet felt the benefit of. I spoke to people living and working around the development last year who said they actually feel worse off. Hi, my name's Nadia. Um, I live in Perry Bar. I've been in Birmingham for now, coming up to 13 years. And um, I just think that they wasted a lot of money in a project that's sitting there empty. I don't know how many homes there are just there. It's like a couple of thousand, say. And that money, what have they done with it? Well, this place is called Blue Marlin in Perry Bar. And my name is Tash. And I'm here every day and see what's happening. So, yeah. The building work affects us major because for the Commonwealth they told us that people would come by so we could get business. The, the road works was there for nearly three years because it was building the flats. So we get no farmer business for nearly three years, things was a bit dead. Yeah, it affected us major, major, major. I mean the one stop Perry Bar uh, market village, it started and then there was a lot of uh, disruption. Lost a lot of business and um, the council should come out and say what's actually going on. The flats were priced between 173000 and 229000 but there's been confusion about what they're worth, and so far Birmingham City Council has failed to sell any of them on the open market. First-time buyer Anthony Ruck is trying to buy one of the flats, but his mortgage provider said it was worth £40,000 less than the asking price. He says he's been messed around for the best part of a year. About a year ago, I was told that I'd be able to move into the flats in August, September 2023. It got to October 2023, hadn't heard anything at all, um, and then um, was basically told at that point about four to six weeks maybe people would be moving in. So before Christmas, people would be moving in. Um, that hasn't happened again now. Um, but the mortgage application went through into in, in January um, and again was kind of expecting that might start to come off in about four to six weeks and it's now um, end of February. I'm moving out of my flat on March the 4th, which means that I'll end up quite probably just having to stay with friends, sleeping on sofas for a little bit um, until I know exactly what a longer term plan will be. Last year, Anthony was told that the council is looking for private investors to bulk buy the apartments and that they'd ensure his purchase was honoured by any new private owners. I've also seen evidence that the council began talks with housing associations last year as well to see if they could also take part of the development off their hands. Those talks are quite far advanced now and the BBC understands that bids from interested parties will be submitted this week. That move will have to be approved by the government-appointed commissioners brought in after the council declared effective bankruptcy. And if it goes through, it means that at least part of the development could also be used for social housing and temporary accommodation. Liberal Democrat Councillor Moriam Jan, who represents the Perry Bar Ward, says Birmingham City Council has created a huge mess and robbed first-time buyers of their chance to get on the property ladder. At the end of the day, um, there's people that had potential opportunities to purchase these properties and now they haven't um, and now it's going to for social uh, housing for uh, whichever bidder um, successfully um, um, bids for this but however all the commotion all the headache all the trauma that uh, the residents have gone through including us as ward councillors since 2017 this was announced it's been a nightmare right the, the roads layouts are disgusting and if you can see from behind me, there's graffiti on the boards. There's still um, on, on work that hasn't been done. Uh, phase two needs to be complete. Then we've got the bus depot that we managed to save for community use. That's sitting there empty, rotting away. So uh, basically, um, the Commonwealth Games hasn't been a complete success for the community and the residents and the workers and the commuters, including One Stop Shopping Centre. And Perry Bar has been a battle and a half since 2017. And I'm shocked I've still got hair left.